All right, so this first problem, we want to classify um, the polynomial and determine the leading term and leading coefficient and degree. Um, so I'm just going to go back and pull up the textbook just so you can uh, recall what we saw. So this polynomial has a highest exponent of 2, okay? So that one was the term quadratic. So you got constant, linear, quadratic, cubic for 3, quartic for 4, and then after that, anything above 4 is just going to be called by the name of the number. So it would be like a 5th degree or 6th degree and so forth and so on. So the quadratic, okay, that's the one with the 2. So we want to label this one as quadratic. Okay, and then from there, the leading term is the whole thing in front. So the one that's attached, everything with that second degree. So it would be a negative 6x squared, all of it together. And then the leading coefficient. So that refers to only the number in front. So for example, there's over here, we're showing a leading coefficient of 4. Ours is going to be a negative 6. That's the number that's in front of our problem. And then the degree, okay, of course, is just that exponent. So it's highlighted in red. It's 2, and you can see under that column is 2. So in this case, highest exponent is 2. Um, that's why we got quadratic. Okay, so number two, <clears throat> we want to determine the leading term, coefficient, degree, polynomial, classified, um, so everything we've just done. So looking at this expression, the highest exponent is a three, okay? Um, the leading term is going to be that whole term. It's not in order here, but it's going to be x to the third. The leading coefficient, so the number in front of here, there's no number showing, so it's an understood one because we do have that term. The degree is the exponent, so it would just be a 3. And then the polynomial, the name of it would be cubic. That was the name for third degree. So um, in this section so far, uh, it's not a whole lot as far as solving, but you do need to know terms and definitions.